Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about evaporation rate. So I'll share my computer screen with you. As a spherical raindrop falls, it reaches a layer of dry air. Should be dry. Let me correct that. It reaches a layer of dry air. Dry. It should be dry air. Okay. Dry air and begins to evaporate at a rate that is proportional to its surface area. Surface area S is given by 4 pi r square. Find the rate at which the radius of the raindrop, which is r, decreases. Okay. So we have been told that the uh, evaporation rate of the raindrop is proportional to its surface area. Okay. So that means uh, solution. Let's do the solution. So that V is equal to volume of the sphere. Okay. And we have been told that the ev evaporation rate, which is a decrease in volume with time, is equal to some constant multiplied by its surface area which is 4 pi r square. Okay. This is given to us. That is the constant rate. This is comes from the given information. Information. Okay. Now we know volume of a sphere Volume of a sphere V is equal to four third pi r cubed. Okay, so if we take the derivative of V from this expression, dV by dt is equal to four third. pi, those are constant term, and derivative of r cube with respect to t is 3 r square dr by dt, okay? So, we know the evaporation rate is constant, is, propor is actually proportional to the surface area. So dv by dt is equal to k times the surface area of the sphere, which is 4 pi r square. So let's uh, create some space here. So this is uh, from here we get, uh, okay. This is equal to 4 pi 3 and 3 will cancel. 3 in the numerator will cancel with 3 in the denominator. This will be 4 pi r square dr by dt. Okay. Now we are given dv by dt. dv by dt is given 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 by dt is equal to k times 4 pi r square is equal to k times 4 pi r square and this is given okay and we have shown that is equal to therefore if we plug in or substitute therefore substituting the value or the expression for 
dv by dt, which we derived in the previous step, is equal to 4 pi r square, 4 pi r square dr by dt. So therefore, 4 dv by dt uh, is 4 pi r square dr by dt, and that is equal to k multiplied by 4 pi r square. Okay, and that comes from the given information. This is given information from the problem statement. This one, given info. So now we can show uh, if we divide by 4 pi r square on both sides. So this becomes 4 pi r square divided by 4 pi r square times dr by dt is equal to k times 4 pi r square divided by 4 pi r square. Or if I create some more space, then it becomes 4 pi r square cancels from the numerator and denominator on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side of the equal to sign. So finally, we are left with dr by dt is equal to k, which is the constant. Thus, the original question was, Find the change of the radius with respect. I'm sorry. Okay. Find the rate at which the radius of the render of decreases. So this is the answer. So it decreases. Uh, getting some more space. Uh, the radius. Therefore, the radius of the raindrop is decreasing at a constant rate, at a constant rate of k. Okay. So, I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as you, I see your note. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll be back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next.